Okay, Norwegian wood. So, I've got a capo on two, standard tuning, it's in D. So, here's how I go about learning this. First of all, it's in 3-4 time. It's a waltz. One, two, three, da, da, da. got sort of four licks to learn. The first one is very easy. It's literally one note, that note. You just go. And then you strum. So it's one, two, three. Then the next four notes are. So what's that? Fourth fret on the G. Second fret on the G. Open G. Fourth fret on the D. And then you strum. So the first two. Now, <clears throat> Lennon had pretty big hands, so uh, he's able to hold that D a lot. What I find really works pretty well if you can't do that, because you're using your pinky, as you can see, my pinky and my pointer a lot. that one there if you're trying to hold the D and do that some people can do it some people can so what I'll do is I'll use my ring finger as an anchor right there so that kind of stays there so when I finish the licks I can get right back to the D okay so where were we so first thing you do is you hit this note Next lick is second fret D, open G, fourth fret D, open D. Again, I'm using my pinky and my index, and my ring is hanging on to that B string, third fret. Last lick is so I bring my middle finger over, third fret on the A string, then I play the open G, and then second fret on the A, and then open A. One more time. A third fret, open G, second fret A, open A. So what I would do, if you have never tried this song before, is just get those licks. The first lick was obviously easy, just one note. But work on this one. And then... Get, so you, you can play that. Even if you can't hold that ring finger, just... Try doing it with your index and your pinky, because that's going to enable you to maintain that note okay so that's the whole verse you do that twice and then the middle part is just D minor it's all So you can get a little bit of the melody in there if you want. It's so the melody is first string, it's on the D minor, so first string, first fret. One, two, three, and then again, one, open E, one, two, three. So again, groups of three notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, then... There. Now I'm playing a G chord, so you can play the G. You can bring this finger over, 
You can add the pinky. Is that your melody? No, you don't need to do this, but I'm just letting you know if you want to. That's where it is. So four measures of that, and then the same thing again. E minor, and then they play an E minor seventh. So it's an E minor chord with third fret on the B string. And then back to the top. And as you can hear, he's doing some hammer on it. So go. He'll hammer that first note. This one. And this guy. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. But looking for that sound, that's it. And last but not least, it's, you get the notes, but you don't want it to sound too exact. You don't want to go, you want it to be kind of sloppy, but you want the melody to come out. Hitting those notes. You can hear I'm getting a little bit of that B string in there. So when you go for the notes, if you turn sideways here. Again, you're not going like that, you're going like this. See how my pick is tilted? Okay, have a good one. See you later.